Hey y'all, it's me, Michael Mitchell. Back with another YouTube video. My topic today is news anchor woman got fired for quoting Snoop Dogg for shizzle my nizzle. And no further ado, here I go. Let's do this. All right, y'all. A news anchor woman from Mississippi got fired for quoting Snoop Dogg's slang word for shizzle my nizzle. Now, this wasn't her first rodeo. She was she got suspension for using the word mammy. Like I don't know, it was a couple of days ago or last month, one of the two, and my topic on this on this topic is she deserved to be she deserved to get fired like you gotta understand something you have a rep this woman has a reputation as a news anchor woman that she that she got that she got that she got protect at all times you can't you can't go around saying what you want and when you want to say it. People gotta understand that, and people saying that she should have got fired for quoting Snoop Dogg, but they gotta understand something. She works for a news channel in Mississippi, and she got a reputation. She got to protect at all times. She can't just. Her name is, the woman's name is Bar, uh, Barbie Bassett. People gotta understand that. She can't just go around saying what she wants to say on, on live TV as a news anchor woman. And not respecting to get backlash. But she, but she didn't got, but she didn't get, she didn't, she didn't got backlash. People who got mad at the got mad about her getting fired. Now I can understand what people are what what people are coming from from this situation. Like people are saying like she probably don't know what that word means. And I and I get it. She probably don't know what that word means. And they disagree with her being fired for saying for quoting Snoop Dogg. But I but the, but the but, but mostly black people got to look. Mostly black people feel like feel like she didn't she didn't deserve to get fired for for quoting Snoop Dogg. But people got to understand when you work for somebody at a news channel, you got to follow certain rules and regulations. You can't say what you want to say on live TV when when you're a news. When you're a news anchor, people gotta understand that. Now, now, my opinion about this is she knew what that word means. Like people, people are acting like she's a little girl. People acting like she's in her nineties. She's a grown ass woman. She knew exactly what that word means. Even she, even she, even they, even 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 in her thought, she probably don't know what that word means. But it's a slang word, and now me personally, I used to say I used to use slang words all the time in my teenage years, in my early twenties. But I don't use them anymore. I don't use slang words anymore because slang words they don't last long, like people like people would think. Now I thought that slang words would that slang word would last long, but not. Not so much, cause some of these words are outdated. People don't use them anymore like they used to, and so I stopped saying them, cause they don't last long. I, what's the point? What's the point of me using slang words if they don't last long? People, people use all. There are there are like all kinds of slang words that's out there right now that people say to this day, 
there are lots of slang words that still around that people don't say anymore. Like, what's the point? I'm, I'm looking at like, what's the point of me using these words that they don't last long? Kind of feel like I'm a follower of these. Kind of, it's kind of like I'm feeling like I'm a follower, a follower to these slang words. Like, I just like I wash my hands. I'm I'm done. I ain't, I ain't using no more slang words because they don't last long. Cause I, I I just stopped using them. Cause they don't last long. Just give it like one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, ten years, six years, seven years, eight years, nine years. Like give it like ten or eleven years. They don't. It, it, people people ain't gonna say them no more. It ain't gonna. People are gonna stop using these slang words. It just don't exist no more. Like people, people don't even use people don't even use slang words like for shits of my nizzle, or ah, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> There's so many slang words that that's been around. I, I probably forgot all of them. Like I'm just like I don't use it anymore. But now there are some there are some white folks out there that use that slang word for shit on my knees. But most of them don't even know what that word means. If you if you tell them what that word really means, like they're gonna be like, I didn't know, but just think about it. For shit on my nizzle, it for those of y'all that don't know what for shit on my nizzle means, it means for sure my nigga. Like I don't use that slang word because when when white folks get a hold of that slang word, you might like I I don't use I don't use slang words like because when white people use slang words, they're trying too hard to impress their black friend. Like, like I feel I kind of feel like white folks don't you don't need to be using slang words just to fit in with black people. Like all you gotta do is just be yourself. That's all you gotta do. You ain't gotta use slang words, especially with, with me. Like, you ain't gotta use slang words to impress me. All you gotta do is just be yourself. Just be you. Like, when white people use slang words, like, most of them don't even know what that word. Most most white folks don't even know know what know what type of know what type of slang words that that you're using. They, they don't even know what type. They don't even know the type of slang word that they're using. Don't even know what that means. Like, like when you work for a news, when you when you are a when you are a, when you are a news anchor, and you work for a news channel, you can't say. You cannot say what you want to say when you want to say it when you are working as a news 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 channel anchor being on live TV all, all the time. You can't say what you want to say because you gotta follow certain rules and legislation. And people gotta understand that. Now there's people there's some certain certain celebrities that feel like she should have got fired like Charlemagne, Whoopi Goldberg, like I really don't take advice from those two people. I really don't take advice from Charlemagne or Whippy Girl or Whippy Go or Whippy Goldberg because they don't they don't speak for the black community. Cause like you can't say what you want to say on live TV when you are a news channel anchor and you work for a news channel. You can't say what you want to say. You got to follow certain rules, and people got to understand that. And she deserved to get fired because she got to think about it. Like, she should have thought about her reputation that she got to protect. And you can't go around just saying what you want to say. I'm sorry. When you just think about it, if you have your own news channel. And you are a news, and you are a anchor of your own news channel. You can say what you want to say. Can't nobody can fire you for that. But when you work for somebody in a news channel, you gotta follow their rules. No if, no if, ands, buts about it. And I kind of feel like this woman from Mississippi, this anchor, 
Barbie Bassett. To me, she was trying too hard to to impress people who she was who she was trying to impress when she used that word. Cause they were talking about Snoop Dogg's new liquor, his new liquor, 19 Crimes. I don't know if he owns that liquor or somebody owns that liquor with his name on it. Like, and she just, she just said it on live TV and like, she got fired because Whoever that, whoever the people that owns that news channel don't want no black, no don't want no backlash from black people. They don't want that smoke. And there's some black people out there ain't really think about what she's saying. It's just a word. Like I disagree with, I disagree with that. It's not just a word. Just because for shit on my nipples is a word. It's not, it's not a word to me. I'm, it's, it's not a word because there's a hidden racial epithet in that word that people don't understand like you can't just say, you can't you can't you can't work for you can't be a news channel you can't be a news channel anchor and just thinking and thinking you can say what you want to say there's consequences there are consequences on that you gotta think before you say it you gotta think of, you gotta think twice before you think about saying that you saying that slang word how it can affect you how it can affect your career how it can get you in trouble and people and people don't understand that and they gotta realize that there's a consequences on what you say and that's real talk man so she deserved to get fired like if i was a news if i was a anchor who worked for a news channel I gotta think about I gotta follow certain rules and legislation and I got I gotta watch what I say and think twice before I say it because it can get me fired because I have a reputation I got to follow I got a reputation I gotta protect at all time if if I was a news channel anchor and Barbie didn't Think about that. She just said it, and she didn't think twice how it how it affect her, how it affect her career as a new shaker anchor, and and I and people who defend her for saying for shizzle my list for, for saying for shizzle my nizzle on live TV, I look down weird like. Are you serious? How are you gonna defend? How you going How are you gonna defend a woman that you don't, that you barely don't even know, for saying a slang word on live TV? I'm looking crazy, like. Boy, I tell you, people, people, people who people who defend people who, for using slang words, knowing that. They gotta follow certain rules. They can't say what they want to say. They lost their pride. Cause you gotta think about it. Like your reputation is on is always on the line. You gotta think. You gotta think before you speak. You gotta think twice before you say things that you shouldn't have no business saying. Cause it could affect your career. It could affect your job. It could it could affect you getting fired from it. And that's what people don't understand. And that's what people don't realize. Even though they realize it. But they choose not to realize it. Because. My thoughts is. Bessie Bassett. Should have think twice. Before she said it. She should have think about. The choice that she made. Before she said it. And she got fired. And she deserved it. So. I'm going to leave it like that. That's all I have to say. But. Thank you so much for taking the time to. Allow me to speak my piece. On how I feel about. 
Bessie getting fired from her job for saying for shits on my initial. And I'll be back with another Facebook live video. Alright? Peace.